In these examples, we want to determine trig function values based upon whether the function is odd or even. The cosine function and secant function are even, which means they're symmetrical across the y-axis. Therefore, cosine negative theta is equal to cosine theta, meaning if we change the sign of the input, or in this case theta, the function values are still equal to each other. The sine function, cosecant function, tangent function, and cotangent function are all odd functions, which means they have rotational symmetry about the origin. So the sine of negative theta is equal to the opposite of sine theta, meaning if we change the sign of the input, then the function values will be the opposite sign. And this is true for sine, cosecant, tangent, and cotangent. And we'll take a look at this graphically after we go through these examples. So for the first one, since the cosine function is even, if cosine x equals 0 0.5, then cosine negative x is also equal to 0 0.5. The function values would be the same. However, the sine function is odd, so if sine x equals 0 0.15, then the sine of negative x is equal to negative 0 0.15. If we change the sign of the input, then the function values will be the opposite sign. The tangent function is odd, so if tangent negative x equals negative 3, then tangent x equals positive 3. And then the secant function is even, so if secant negative x equals 1.4, then secant x equals 1.4 as well. Let's go and take a look at these even and odd identities graphically. Again, the sine function and secant function are even, which means they're symmetrical across the y-axis, or they're mirror images across the y-axis. So if we take a look at the cosine function, notice f of pi over 2 equals 0, and f of negative pi over 2 is also equal to 0. If we change the sign of the input, the outputs are the same. And the same thing would be true for the secant function. Now let's take a look at the odd functions. Here we see the graph of the sine function and cosecant function. Notice here f of pi over 2 is equal to positive 1 for both of these functions, but f of negative pi over 2 is equal to negative 1. So if we change the sign of the input, the outputs are the opposite sign. And the same is true for the tangent and cotangent function. Notice here f of pi over 4 is equal to 1, and f of negative pi over 4 would be equal to negative 1. And again, this is true because these functions have symmetry about the origin, which means if we rotate these functions 180 degrees about the origin, the functions would look exactly the same.